spot for this high-level wrestler here tonight, and the opposition knows what's coming, but more often than not in the UFC, they've been unable to stop. It's because since a little boy, he spent his life on the wrestling mat, and even though you start to prepare for it late, you cannot match his ability to train, his ability to focus, the idea that once he gets a hold of you, it only ends with him in top position. It does not matter if he has to get a high crotch. It does not matter if he needs to get a single leg or a double leg. The purpose is to get you to the floor, and he has been trained his entire life to do just that. Yeah, you put it well. He's got a lot of throws and takedowns and trips in his arsenal, and he will try to put them to good use in this matchup here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Nice stupid punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Right, so there's the early takedown. Pretty evident, DC, that he wants to get this. He's second gear team. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. Continues to manhandle him here on the ground. And back to his feet. Big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Straight right, he misses. Keep moving. Nice job by him to get the knee of the target there, using his length exceptionally well. To and he gets it. Oh, looked like that left hand found the target. Found the target as it has on so many occasions tonight. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Throwing that jab, no good. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Take it down, cut him. Take it down, cut him. Over and over, he secured these takedowns. And he landed the right hand there. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by the Korean Super Bowls. All right, side control now. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, working inside the close guard now. 
Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't want to hang out on the ground with this guy. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Big kick lands. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Beautiful strike. Back and forth we go. Oh, man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedown attempts. Back to the feet now. And that one certainly found the target. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Choi. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. That's a big strike right there. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just misses there with the left. Big head kick lands. Just out of range with that strike. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by the shot leg. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by the Korean Super Bowl. Close guard. Nice move in the half guard. Shades of Daniel Cormier slicing through that guard. Unbelievable. I love it. Like a knife to butter. What a great job passing. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, he got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Volume strikes continue to rain down. His opponent pretty helpless there on the ground. His opponent is helpless. He's been hurt, he's been battered, he's been beat, and now this guy's just trying to find the right time to land the strike that is the fight. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Big punch lands. Ooh. Lands flush with the left hand. Nice kick. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Big body kick. Oh. 
straight punch. Joy gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand punches the clinch. Choi's got the tie clinch. Let's see what and he, can he do. gets the takedown. He gets the takedown and falls right in the side control. Exactly where he wants to be. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Drop your levels and take him down. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Joy gets back up again, nicely done. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here, another strike lands there. Oh, head kick attempt, it is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Hands high, hands high. And he connects with a punch there, we'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Big power shot there. Left hand. 20 seconds to go round two. All right, so he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. We'll see what he can do. Time it perfect. This will leave an impression in the judge's mind. And as his opponent, you need to get back to your feet right away because you can also sway the judges by getting back up to your feet and maybe exploding Time. in one last throw. And that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets underway. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Nice punch, Lance. <laughs> Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Back and forth we go. Nice one-two there. And they separate. Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you've got to think that's something that's going to give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over? I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, bottom fighter here. Maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Fighters back to their feet here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Good stick. Just out of range with that right hook. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, straight right. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. 
Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Shore. Oh, and he's back up again. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Joy gets hit by that leg kick. They continue to exchange. Real quick leg kick. Keep your hands up, Come on now. Move the cardio you must have in order to secure this many takedowns. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the getouts. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down. Again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hands up around to block his face. Oh! Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Land. Oh! He's hurt. Throw him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Dig and kick. Oh, good kicks. Trying to go for the single leg takedown. Doesn't get it. All right, some really grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. Both know exactly what they need to do. And when both fighters are trying to do the same thing, it's very, very difficult to get the desired result. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Good punch. Right at the elbow, the body keeps landing. Wow, actually got the takedown. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Are right, working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, north-south position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Ground and pound strike is true. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Whiffs on the straight right hand. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Look at the force behind that leg kick. 
Quick level change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skills. You could feel the canvas reverberating here. The I mean, right there. Bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Both fighters get up now. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects. And that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. He lands the right hand. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the street. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Big kick. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. And they separate. Oh, big head kick lands. <laughs> oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, eats a knee. He's back to the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Connects with the right hand, pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. The Korean Superboy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves the moment. He'll finish the fight. Straight right hand now, just misses. Keep that left hand up higher. Oh, that's a nice strike. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, a huge block there. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Let's go! Keep that footwork going. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh! oh. Cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC, take us through the highlight. He's as tough as they come. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times, the night would be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man is just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. You ready? Ready? Fifth and final round. Good punch land. Big leg kick land. Yeah, left hook found its target. Choi gets touched by that kick there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a... Wow! Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, 
Oh, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. The Korean Superboy gets plastered with that overhand. Three minutes now. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You got to figure out a way to get back to your feet. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost... Whoa! He's out! He's done, he's done! What a performance! A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night, he found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there, a huge knockout for him here tonight, near perfect.